Okay, today we're in Rancho Lagarita. We're, um, we're about 25 minutes west of Trinidad along Highway 12, um, and then uh, north of Highway 12, about eight, nine miles. Uh, this brings us up to this uh, plateau top where we're going to have mountain views out here to the west. Uh, we're facing basically due north right right now. Uh, this there's two tracks on this side of the road that we're going to take a look at. In this film, there's 248 and 247. So we're standing right here at the corner of 248 of the cul-de-sac. You see there, so this was the cul-de-sac. So this is 248 and the 247 is right next to it. And uh, they're priced separately in, uh, in the information to this, uh, below this video. We should take a hike through. This goes 280 feet this direction, so we're going to take a hike through 248 here and, and 47, but we're on 48 first and uh, get up here to where we see the mountain views. Got a lot of uh, good building room up here, flat. It's mostly all flat, just kind of rolling. Some nice tall pine trees here. Got good southern exposure. Like this direction, that's uh, that's Fisher's Peak over Trinidad, Colorado, where I-25 is right below it, going south into 20 miles into Raton, New Mexico. You go north and you hit Pueblo and Colorado Springs, and then Denver. We're about uh, three, three and a half hours on these tracks to Denver. Uh, about two hours, 15 minutes to the airport of Colorado Springs. So you see it's nice in here. It's all pines and stuff, so we're kind of walking an angle across this lot over to here. The views here. And 247 is going to start about 150 feet, 180 feet that direction. This is looking back east. Getting here to the, um, starting to get to the edge of the canyon. We're going to pick up the mountains. That's the West Spanish Peak. Uh, Kachara Pass is over there to the left. So you kind of have a meadow area up here. Trees aren't too bad. You can easily drive a, a vehicle up in here. If you want to make this, the camps come down in a little bit. Just so I get the views. This is what you see on the western edge of both 247 and 48. I'm about right in the middle of the two on the western edge right now. You see in those maps and stuff. And the mountains look about, they look about like that, zooming in for, for perspective. Uh, 48 is over here, so you see it keeps benching out a lot further out so you can get out to a further point and do something out there and have those views. And this would be 48 this direction. Here's 47. Now we're looking back east. And this is 47 here. We'll walk back down to the main road through 47. Back through those trees and stuff. You kind of come up off the a slight upward incline. And you kind of round over the hump here a little bit where you have your taller ponderosa pines and stuff. Here, the average water well depth is for about 400, 600 feet. It's $20 a foot to drill water. There's no power lines up to these tracks up here. And this stuff's uh, isolated back in here, but, but you got uh, year-round access to it. With the plowed roads. These tracks have covenants, but there's no POA, HOA and the owners do to enforce any covenants and the owners do as they want to do on their properties. So you can hunt and shoot and do things like that if you want to do that. So we're just walking through 48 here. Or what is this one? 47, 247. Some opening areas here. I wanted to put a cabin up or a house. Just following these animal trails. There's a lot of bear scat and elk and deer along the edge of that uh, view cliff over there, going down the valley below and see how all the oak brush and 
or mowed down through here. This is, they come up and over this ridge quite a bit. All of it's mowed down. Well, there's even a chewed on trees there. It's real short oak brush in here. You can see where it's taller in other places. Like right over there. That's how tall it should be. Or in the mess of this, they don't walk through the mess of that so they don't eat all that oak brush when they walk by. See, it's all mowed down here. And here comes the road. So there's that rounded hill you come up on top of where you got pine trees and you head out to the views. And then you come back down here with this slight slope. A lot of usable ground right to the main road. And it looks like from where we're coming out, we're, we're about right in the middle of the two tracks still. So, 247 is going to be almost identical to this 48. You got a little root valley going up there and you go up to the knob up there where we just came down and you see the views out west. So, yeah, there's a truck. So, we're right at the division of the two properties right now. So that's lots uh, 248 and 247 in Rancho Lagarita. And this uh, 247 goes for about 320 feet this direction. So this is all 247. It's gonna be the same, you know, you go up through here, you know, there's a nice place you can make a road or something. And then, uh, head up on these seven acre tracks.